Good morning, happy Sunday. I have my Wisconsin hacky long sleeve t shirt in. Huh? Very cool. Um, we're going to go out today and uh, to this place called Cristo Reto. So apparently it's a crucifix. I, th I think it's made out of steel or something. I don't know much about it. Um, you can look it up. It's C R I S T O space R O T O uh, in Aguas Calientes, which is like Aguas and then Calientes, T E S at the end. <laughs> um, and uh, we were going to go the preceding week, and then my daughter and her boyfriend just kind of like knocked on the door and showed up, like, that's Mexico. That's what we do. Yay. Family just kind of shows up and hangs out for a while. Um, and a little bit of coffee. Can't really see much. Yeah. Um, it's a reheat from yesterday. It's like I don't need as much coffee anymore either. It's like weird. I don't know if it was ever a need or an addiction. or I do enjoy it. I mean, like... It's a great flavor for me. It's a morning thing. It's a routine. It's a ritual. The aroma, it's delicious. <clears throat> but like after my first cup, I'll start hitting my thermos where I put another uh, probably 400. Oh, well, let's see. I have a total of 700, so 350 and 350, right? Uh, but for the trip today, maybe I'll, I'll make 500 milliliters. Uh, and I have plenty of videos on my other channel about um, how to make coffee and stuff. If I remember, I'll link my other channel. You just look through and there's, a, there's two of them. One is a, a Beethoven motif coffee making video because he inspired me to learn how to make Turkish coffee, believe it or not. Beethoven was meticulous. He would count 60 beans for his demitasse of Turkish coffee. Now, they claim he had a brewing system made out of glass. Uh, however, looking back at the, uh, the evidence that I can come up with, uh, it's called the siphon brewing system, and that wasn't developed. There was no real filter brewing or siphon-type brewing system. Uh, during this time in Beethoven's life. Matter of fact, I don't think it was invented until the uh, about a decade after his death in France. And for 400 years, no, 300 years before his life, they'd always make it a la turca in the Turkish style. Especially everyone loved everything Turkish back then. I think coffee doesn't hit uh, Italy till the middle to late 1500s. <clears throat> and so... And, and I calculated the bean count. Um, so if you count 60 beans out for a demi tasse, which is, I believe it's seven and a half ounces, fluid ounces or less, it, it comes in like rather small cups, almost like espresso cups. The, the typical Turkish cup, whatever that was, uh, and uh, the ratio then comes to 10 or so to one. And that's a very strong cup of coffee, okay? So that's kind of like where I think he was at. So along with my body changing, along with, uh, I mean, I, I, I might have been a social drinker here and there. Folks say, ah, oh, you want a beer? Ah, oh, sure, what the heck, or a tequila or whatever. Don't feel like it, man. Um, I think we went somewhere the other day, and, and it's like they always try to push booze on you. I, I mean... Not, I guess, maybe in Mexico it's a little different. It's not, I mean, it's so socially, like, social. Um, and, and you just say no once, that's the end of it. But but I remember in the States, man, everyone would, oh, dude, come on, get drunk or whatever. Uh, or I just had crummy friends. I don't know. I, I don't really remember. I, I haven't been, um, I mean, I went up to the States for about a year or so just to, you know, get some work, get some credentials. But aside from that, I've been here for, shoot, um, boy, matter of fact, on the first, I've been in this state for 10 years. And then we moved, shoot, man, I've been here for 15 years. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I moved when I was about 40, 
40-ish, and I'm 55-ish. So yeah, 15 years. Wow. Great place to be, especially during this last bundle. Of bundle. As, far I'll, as far as I'll go there. Don't need videos removed. <laughs> uh, don't want to tell the truth or anything. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, the coffee awesome stuff but uh seems like I'm, I'm losing a taste for that losing a taste for alcohol uh, obviously i don't have any taste for sugar grains um and i just simply don't use seed oils the so-called vegetable oils look up a video on how that crap is made man you'll never eat it again you really won't you just won't Ugh. especially when you find out they use a solvent Okay, let me just share with you. The solvents I know, the, the chief solvent in the world is water. <clears throat> but it won't act on what we call nonpolar substances like fats and oils. The only thing that will act on those <clears throat> are the solvents. up an hour ago so I'll go ahead and oops wrong button I'll log in to the internet that'll make some beep 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 beeps, but that's about it <clears throat> but I don't care so I, I've been not going into my phone for an hour after I wake anyway so <clears throat> um, we're leaving in about an hour to go to this place so back on the story here um, you need solvents to kind of get rid of the absolute poisons in the seed oils. I mean, these things are barely above toxicity level. Anyway, um, I wouldn't drink them if I were you. And uh, so uh, I, today I lost another couple of hundred grams. Uh, so again, like I said, I'm within a drink of water of 93, 94-ish kilos. It's been a set point for some time. Didn't gain, and I didn't lose during all of uh, Hello Thanks Miss. So it's Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, and we do um, we do follow at least the the Thanksgiving and Christmas here in Mexico, where my family just because of me. Um, but Halloween, not so much. Uh, but I know a lot of people up there still eat a bunch of candy up there. I'm thinking the North U.S. Um, so that's about it. Uh, don't have much more for today. Um, what am I going to eat today? If, if if where we go, something is pure meat and it blows my skirt up, I'll go ahead and eat it. Um, but if not, I'm happy with my coffee. And I even told him I may not eat because um, I'm already fasting now for 19 hours. Yay, me. Uh, and uh, we'll get there probably around 11 and uh, we still wouldn't eat for another three or so hours. Who knows how long we're going to spend up there. I may just wait, come home, and eat maybe three or four, five in the afternoon. Whatever time we get home. Because I, I really want to make some smash burgers. <laughs> I, they just, uh, I have ground beef. I always have ground beef. Um, and uh, if I don't have any um, like decent-looking lettuce to lay the smash burgers on, I'll just go ahead and make my my four egg omelet and just kind of lay them around on the omelet I don't care tastes delicious I love it just just oozing with cheese oh yeah I'm weird I'm, even when I fasted for five days I, I would watch food videos <laughs> well it, it's exciting and to know that you know you have something to look forward to it's kind of like being on a trip and let's say you're in a car on a plane but you can't stop obviously in a plane no but in a car, you know, you you gotta you gotta get to Amarillo by Tuesday, you know, Amarillo by morning. Oh, sorry, Amarillo by morning, right? Um, and you can't stop. So it's kind of like how I look at the fastings. Like I can't stop until Friday, and then I'm planning all these delicious things I'm gonna eat, and I do eat. All right. Um, darn, I'm running kind of high here on time here, but I I did want to kind of institute a challenge. Um, I don't know exactly when the full moon is. But I'm going to kind of be weird. I'm going to do a lunar challenge. Uh, because the Jewish month starts on the new moon. So, uh, new moon to new moon. 
if you want to take my challenge, you're going to buy yourself a buttload of eggs. You're going to buy a buttload of the four meat groups. Good fish, all right? Um, fish is tricky, but uh, if, if you want to eat it, okay, I, I don't eat as much as I probably should, but um, it has to be obviously savage that is not farm-raised, and it's got a tuna is not preferential because it's a predator and it will have mercury. But fish, pork, beef, and chicken, right? And then eggs and cheese. And mix and match, spice, and um, I mean, try not to even eat any vegetables on this thing. Just go a full month of pure carnivore. Just look up a bunch of different ground beef recipes. Um, again, dairy, so you can add, uh, you can put cream cheese, you can put cheese, you can put cream. Stay away from milk. I don't recommend it. Um, because part of this too is kind of to reduce your carbs and get rid of your sugar. Uh, you can eat all you want. And for this lunar month, go ahead and eat whenever you want. Okay? Like if you're hungry, whip yourself up an egg. And you'll be like, oh, I don't feel like an egg. Then you're not hungry. <laughs> See, this is the beauty. Now you're going to know the difference between true hunger, like, damn, I've got to eat something, or, boy, that... That, that pizza looks really good today. All right? Um, and for the chicken, plenty of chicken wings. Seriously. And bake them. All right? Try not to fry them. Try to bake them. I have videos also on my channel. Look it up. I'll link my, video. I'll link my other channel. You've got to, you've got to uh, bake your wings. Okay? Just like I, just like I pres uh, prescribed. All right? So that's it. We're going to cut this thing in about 12 minutes. So we will catch you guys on the next one. Have a great one. Bye.